y'all welcome back to my channel so this video woo, is gonna be over this look right here um, and I'm gonna do a real quick uh, run through of all the products that I use and then we can roll on into the video cool cool so I start with the cuddly I hope I'm saying that right if not please someone correct me in the comments um, the divine oil the Amit Makeup Melissa's Active Eye Light Corrector. The Clinique Crayola Chubby Stick in the color Razzmatazz. The Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer. The Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette in HG. The Becca Backlight Priming Filter. The Ordinary Serum Foundation and the Ordinary's Coverage Foundation. Then the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. I use the color Medium. Then the Benefit Boing Concealer. I use the shade 01 because yeah girls, a super pale. <laughs> then I use the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder followed by the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. Then I use the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. It's funny because it's a little tube. <laughs> then I use the Benefit Cheek Parade Palette. Um, this has all my contour products, my bronzer, blush. You got it. Then I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moon Child Glow Kit. Then the Pixi brow tamer and this is my first time using the Kula makeup setting spray the Too Faced candlelight softly illuminating translucent powder um, Dolce & Gabbana's eyeliner in the color 3 Bite Beauty's lip pencil in the color 22 Bite Beauty's Amuse Bush, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, lipstick in the color Chai. And last but not least, the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Powder in Luminous. Alright, so that's all the uh, products that I use. Let's go ahead and roll on into this. Get ready with me, tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. First, I'm going to go in with my Caudalie, I think I said that right, uh, Divine Oil. I just take a couple of sprays ooh, in my hand, warm it together, and then just apply all over my face. My skin is really dry, so this helps the primer and foundation adhere evenly to my skin and prevent those super awesome dry patches. Next I take my Amit Makeup Melissa's Active Eye Light Corrector and I just apply about a dot under each eye and then blend with my fingers. It doesn't have to be perfect because foundation is still going to go over it. Now I'm going to take my Clinique Crayola Chubby Stick in the color Razzmatazz. And this is just going to prep my lips. This is not my permanent lip color for the look. Worry not. Now I'm going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm going to apply a dot above e or on each eyelid and then blend with my fingers. And then I'm going to give it about 30 seconds to a minute to kind of dry um, just so that way and I'm going to leave my eyelids closed as well just so that way it doesn't um, crease like set into my creases and also so that way whenever I start applying eyeshadow it doesn't kind of create blotchiness because I've noticed before with regardless whatever eye primer I'm working with um, 
when I try to go straight in right after I apply primer and I don't wait and give it time to dry a little bit, it will become like patchy. Alright, so now that it's had time to dry a little bit, I'm starting off with my Violet Voss Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette. So the first color that I'm going to take is Thanks A Latte, and I'm going to be using my Lexi 209 Large Shader Brush. And I'm going to just pick up powder or product and I'm going to just pat it on from my crease to my brow bone. Next, I'm going to take the color Bestie with my Alamar Cosmetics Fluffy Bl Blender brush. All tongue tied today. Um, and I'm going to be applying this as my upper transition color. So it's going to be above my crease, but below my brow arch. It's, I'm not going working all the way up to my brow. So the next color I'm going to take is going to be Brownie Points, and that's going to be the color in my crease. And with that, I'm going to be using two different brushes. Uh, first, I'm going to go in with the Lexi 140, 141 Mini Round, and I'm going to pick up powder, and I'm going to pat that into my crease, descending in color as I work inwards. Um, do that for both eyes, and then I'm going in with the Lexi 229 Tapered Blending Brush, and I'm just going to buff that out so that way there's no harsh lines of demarcation. I'm going to be going in with the color Are You Kitting Me with the Lexi 121 Mini Tapered Brush and I'm going to be applying that as my lower transition color. So right in between where the crease, brownie points, and bestie are. Now without picking up any more product, I'm just going in with the Alamar Cosmetics Fluffy Brush again and I'm just buffing it out just for kind of just a sense of reassurance. Now I'm going to take the color Glamping with my Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush and first I'm going to pick up powder and I'm going to pat it onto the outer corner of my lid and then without picking up any more product I'm just going to gently buff it into the crease area.
now I'm going to grab the color Toffee and I'm going to apply it to my inner lids. And I'm using the dual ended brush from my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, more dense side and then the fluffy side will be used after this. But for this step, I'm going to be applying, um, kind of patting it close as close to my lash line as I can get and then lightly buffing up towards the crease and um, the mid lid area but not actually going into the mid lid region. Now I'm going to be taking the color How You Do In with the other side of that brush and I'm going to be applying that to my mid lid area. Without picking up any more product, I grab the Luxie 231 brush again and I just buff out that that outer lid and crease area just so that way the mid uh, the inner and mid lid colors can blend more seamlessly into the crease. I'm going to take the color Teddy Bear with my Luxie 221 flat definer brush and I'm just going to pat it along as tight as I can get it on my upper lash line to create the look of like a denser lash line. I'm going to take my Becca Backlight Priming Filter <laughs> and just about like a pea-sized amount and just apply that all over my face. So now I'm going to go with my serum foundation from The Ordinary in shade 1.1N. Uh, bear with me because it oxidizes and I'm way too lazy to return it. So I'm just trying to use it up even though the shade does not end up matching me. So I take my um, Good Karma, um, Urban Decay Good Karma Optical Blurring Brush and just blend it around. Now I'm going to take The Ordinary's Coverage Foundation in the same shade, 1.1N. <laughs> Taking the same
same Good Karma Optical Blurring Brush. I'm just gonna go around and buff that foundation out. And I just buff that out. Next I'm going to take my Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion in the shade Medium. And first I'm going to take out the little brush, the little spoolie end. I'm going to brush out any foundation that's in my eyebrows. Next, I'm going to start with the darker color and work from the brow arch outwards and then the lighter color brow arch inwards. Now I'm going to take my Benefit Bling Concealer and I'm going to just warm it up in my hand and apply it to my under eye area. A little bit on this blemish because it's on my nerves. Blending does not have to be perfect because I'm just going in with my beauty blender and buffing it out so it matches, blends out into my foundation. Now I'm going to take my Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. What I like to do is keep a separate jar with all of my powders for sanitation purposes and well, yeah, that's pretty much it, and like cleaning per cleanliness, but that's pretty much sanitization. Um, so what I'll do is I put new powder into the older jar, and then every time it's emptied, it's easier to just wipe it out, clean it, spray with alcohol to sanitize it, and then put more in. Um, <laughs> I kind of came up with this whenever I was working with on with like a bunch of different models for an event that I was doing with my school when I was still going to cosmetology school and I noticed that the lid would get all disgusting because the foundation from their face would mix with the powder and the powder that would get picked up on the brush and then it would just 
all set in the lid and it's just gross. So I learned this and every time I have a client I always tell them if you can, if you have the space and the patience, always have a separate jar. If not, if you just have your powder for yourself and you're not worried about bacteria in there and you've got resilient skin, do you. But I always recommend this to people just to err on the side of sanitary caution. So I take my OMG brush from the cream shop. It's very dense. This was meant to be a contour brush but you know, what is makeup if it's not getting creative with your stuff? So I go back with the Beauty Blender and I just blend out the creases that are in my under eye area. And I immediately go in and set it. That way it doesn't give it a chance to crease. And then I get more powder on the brush ready for the next dye. And do the same. Alright, so while that's setting, I'm going to go in with my next powder. It should tell you how much I love the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. So this is the spare jar. This is the jar with the powder currently in it. And I take my Moda. Um, this came in a duo set. I just call this the powder brush. And I just take some powder. And first I pat it. Get it on there. Your foundation can only absorb a certain amount. Like it's going to absorb as much as it can and then that's going to be it. Um, but I like to give it the opportunity to absorb it, absorb as much as it can. So that way it's a nice even base before I buff anything off. Because if you just go in and immediately start buffing, you run the risk of moving that foundation around and it not being a flawless finish. So just patting. Patting. Look at that, it's true to the mat. It was shiny as heck a second ago. Now I'm going to take my Luxie 201 Brow and Lash Brush and I'm just going to pass it through my lashes just to get any of the powder that may have fallen on there. And then go in with my sample mini of the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. And personally, I only like to apply to the top lashes. I don't really like to apply mascara to the bottom lashes, but to each their own. Now that my lashes are 
lashes are done. I'm taking my Benefit Cheek Parade and I'm going in with the first color, um, Hula, with the brush that comes in it. And I'm just going to blend this on in my cheekbones to, you know, give a little more dimension, my temples and my hairline. take a fluffy blender brush um, this one's from like a crown brush set that I got years ago um, and I don't use this on my eyes because the hairs are not sensitive skin friendly so instead I use it to contour my nose with that I'm taking the hula light color out of that benefit palette and I'm just gonna blend this along the sides of my nose I take California out of the same palette with my Luxie 504 large angle brush and I apply my blush. I start by pressing and then I will flick up and outwards uh, instead of doing the whole circle motions or the figure eight that a lot of people do. I've just found that this works better for me. Um, of course I go in um, with the lightest pressure and then I slowly start to apply more pressure to be able to blend out the color. I want the most amount of pigment right at the apples of my cheeks and then it descending in pigment as I work outwards. So. I already have a blemish there so it only adds more red. Less blush I gotta add. Next I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette, I almost hit myself in the eye, <laughs> um, and I'm starting with the color Purple Horseshoe, oh no, one of them's cracked, and I'm taking my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush, and I'm picking up some Purple Horseshoe, and I'm going to be blending this along the top of my cheekbones, and then right above my brow arch.
Next I'm going to be taking the color Blue Ice with my Mud 330 brush and I'm going to be applying that along the bridge of my nose. Now I'm going to take the color Pink Heart with my Mud 320 brush and I'm going to be applying this on my inner eye grooves and my brow arches and then also along for my Cupid's bow. i got to be careful with this one because this is the one that just cracked. back in with my Violet Voss palette. Whoop. I'm going to be taking How You To Win with my Mud 300 brush and my Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush. So I start by um, picking up the color and I apply it tightly to my lower lash line with the Mud brush and then without picking up any more product with my Luxie 111, I just go ahead and blend that out so that way there's no harsh line. Now I take my Pixie Brow Tamer and I set my brows. Now I'm going to take the Kula Makeup Setting Spray SPF 30. I just got this in my Fab Fit Fun Box and this is literally the first time I'm trying it. So says it's water and sweat resistant and of course the sunscreen is a huge deal for me so we'll see how it goes oh oh that burns my eyes oh my god oh that burns oh whoo yeah that burns your eyes if you open your eyes and it hasn't actually started to dry yet. Um, you definitely smell the sunscreen in it. Uh, the nozzle is not great, or the spray spritzer is not the best, but it seems to have dried clear. So we'll see how well it holds up being sweat and water resistant. Um, I'm not going to be going swimming, but I do tend to sweat throughout the day because 
you know I'm human. So that dried actually very surprisingly quickly, so kudos to that. Uh, normally the Urban, the one that I normally use, the Urban Decay All Nighter, takes like a minute or two for it to dry, but that was pretty instantaneous. But next I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Candlelight Softly Illuminating Translucent Powder. And I'm going to take my, where is it? Luxie 516 Duo Fiber Powder Brush. I'm just going to swirl it around, pick up some product, and dust this all over my face. So I'm immediately noticing one huge difference. <laughs> Every time I hear the word huge now, I just, and I'm not trying to get po political by any means. This is purely just like, you know, memes. But I just think of Donald Trump's voice and like all the memes people made like, yo. <laughs> Every, Every time I hear the word, I just hear him say that now. Besides the point. So with the Urban Decay All Nighter one that I normally use, I do those steps the same way every single time. So I will um, spray my face with makeup setting spray and let it set before I go in and I top it off with this. What this creates kind of like a filter effect without, you know, dog ears or a cute little flower crown you get off of Snapchat. And it also buffs off any extra powder that may be particularly around my eyes, but literally anywhere else that there could be powder that wasn't originally absorbed with the foundation. But with this one, um, yeah, it's pulling the product off as I swirl the brush around versus with the Urban Decay one, it never did that. Um, it, I could say it's pretty darn transfer resistant versus this one. Not as much. It may be water and sweat resistant, but it's definitely not transfer resistant. So it's kind of a huge downer. I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I would obviously just have to change steps, but it really just depends how well it holds up with the whole water sweat proof and SPF. So if I still get burnt by the end of the day, the day to day, we know it's not very effective. And of course I'm going to take it with me so that way I can spray it, what is it, every two hours that it says to reapply? Isn't that the kind of rule of thumb with sunscreen? Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Dolce & Gabbana, the eyeliner in the color 3. And I'm going to apply this to my upper and lower water lines. I'm going to go in with my Bite Beauty Lip Pencil in the color 22, yeah, and just line my lips.
last but not least, I like to dust the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Powder on my shoulders and clavicles, but since I'm wearing a shirt that covers my shoulders, just doing the clavicle today. And I use the little brush that's included. And this is the finished look. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so that way you get notifications every time I post new content. Thank y'all again so much for watching. See y'all next time.